Hi everyone, pretty exciting day in politics so far and this is where we're at, it's pretty remarkable stuff. So not only was Lindsay Hoyle in the Whip's office for Labour, it's now been confirmed by many, I say confirmed, reported on by many sources that Lindsay Hoyle was told in no uncertain terms that if he didn't go against precedent and set a new precedent by selecting the Labour amendment over the government and the SNP, the people who called the vote in the very first place, let's not forget, then he would not receive the adequate Labour votes to make himself the Speaker after Labour potentially win the next general election. So this is corruption and this is blackmail. And what's even more astounding is that we now have an SNP Tory coalition, SNP Tory coalition, to remove Lindsay Hoyle. Now, a speaker cannot actually be removed. What you'd have to do is get enough MPs together, a vast majority of the House, which if you put the Tories together with the SNP, you have got a majority in the House, which would prevent Lindsay Hoyle from carrying out his duties or having any authority when carrying out those duties because none of them have any confidence in him. This was brought forward by Bill Ragg, who is a Conservative MP in court, of course, but the SNP are backing it as well. Labour might have just crippled Parliament if the Tories and the SNP just stick together on this one issue and it may just force Lindsay Hoyle to resign as the Speaker of the House. What a remarkable day so far and we've not even had the vote yet.